Hi everyone, a user has asked for more specific details on how to insert the expressions and get the little icons on the diagrams. Their specific desire is to get the little blood drop for blood relatives. I'm going to walk through this in a step by step video and you can hit the pause button after each step and go and perform the actions that you need in Family Historian 7. So I've cleaned up these diagrams an awful lot from uh, the demonstration file and here we are back at Marin and we can see that Marin is actually a blood relative of mine. I'm set in this file as the file root. Shirley here is also a blood relative. Now one thing I failed to explain in the previous presentation is that all of the census indications, the infant birth, and the whether you were involved in a war or not, the birthplace, the death place, they're all based on an individual's facts, events and attributes. Once you start looking at DNA, you're looking at the relationship between two people and there's two ways that can be displayed. I'm going to go here, I'm going to pick Agnes and I'm going to go to DNA Diagrams and choose Blood. Agnes is the starting person and let's click OK. Now the first thing you'll notice here is that Agnes, she's shown as a blood relative but she's not a blood relative of mine. Now let me explain that. She's a blood relative to herself at 100% DNA. All of these other DNA matches that are showing here are in relation to Agnes, not in relation to me as the file root. So that's one way of calculating DNA. And in my previous demonstration, that was the way I had the expressions set. The user who queried me this morning actually wants a little blood icon on any chart. And if that person is set as the root, then they will see all of the blood relatives to themselves. So again, with Agnes selected, I'm going to do both. So I'm going to do her ancestors and descendants. And you can see now in this chart, Agnes is not a blood relative to me. However, her husband, Robert, is a blood relative to me. And as we waterfall down, we can see these other blood relatives. This is a spouse, so that's not a blood relative. Let me zoom out of this chart a bit. So the first thing you'll notice is I'm not on this chart. But we started this chart with Agnes and not her husband, Robert. Let me click Robert and do both. Robert is now selected as the, the root person and click OK. So you can see Robert is blood relation to me. All of these other people are the blood. This is the same as the previous chart, but it's a much larger chart. And if I scroll across here, I would fit in way down here somewhere. I think actually that's my father there. So what I can do here is I can highlight my father. I'm not going to zoom in on him and give his details away, but all the little blood icons are on all of these individuals apart from their spouses. So I'm going to highlight my father. Scroll back over to Robert. Quite a ways over here. Hold the control key and select Robert. Then go here to the connect. And I'm going to have this route, which is red. And I'm going to click the button, the mapper. Replace the existing route. I'm going to say yes. And now you can see the red line which is mapping Robert's relationship through these people down through these people and right down over to the left down through here and over to my father and I can add a new route if I want which is a different color and uh, map another family relationship so that's another way of looking at relationships. But all I wanted to do there was to show you and to prove that Robert and I are connected by blood. So depending on what you want to achieve will depend on which expression you use. This first one that I've highlighted 
is the one used in the built-in family historian's seven DNA diagrams, which is the relationship from the selected person. This expression I have now highlighted should be used if you want to see the blood relationship between the file root, which in my case here is myself, and everybody else on charts and that will add the little blood droplet to every blood relation. So I'm just going to copy that. I'll minimize this. So here's the steps. So go to Diagram, Options, go to the fourth tab along, which is Boxes. I'm going to select Add a Condition. I'm going to select Expression. And in this box for the expression, this is where I'm going to paste the expression that I just highlighted for you. And I'll put those in the video description of this video. And click OK. This box automatically opens. Now, I could have a box filled if I want. I could have a, a different line around the outside of the box if I want. I could change the box shape, the text color, box shadow. All I'm going to do is add an icon. So click the icon box and you see the select and I'm going to select here and now the family historian icons opens up. You see a little drop down at the top here. Select DNA and now you're in the DNA icons. The one we want is the little blood droplet. Click OK and click OK again. And I always like to click Apply when I see an Apply button. So click the Apply button and then follow that with the OK. And that's you done. I have selected myself and another diagram and you can see if I click Area and go right the way up in here, these are all blood relatives. As I say, I'll put the two um, expressions for the little blood droplet down into the description of this video. You paste whichever one works best for you into the expression and create that on your diagrams. I think most people would choose the second of those two expressions. And all you have to do is click the icon box and select the symbol or the icon that you want there. And the little blood droplet is ideal for blood relatives. You can use that same method to add any of the other DNA markers to your diagrams. The particular person that asked me only wanted the blood relative icon, but I'll copy all of the other expressions into the description down below this video, and you can choose to use whichever ones you want, just choosing the appropriate icon. I hope this video has been of some use to you, and if so, please give it the thumbs up. And also, if you're not already subscribed and you want to be notified when future videos appear, click the subscribe button down below, followed by the little bell. That's about it. You can go off now into Family Historian and start creating some enhanced diagrams. And I hope it helps your research and pushes things forward. Thanks for watching.